Hey, change agents, and welcome back to another episode of Impact Monday with me, Tracy V. Allen. And today we are going to be talking about the three E's of social entrepreneurship. That's E, the letter E, three of them, right? Of social entrepreneurship. Um, if this is your first time here, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Click that subscription bell, click the notification bell so you can get um, notifications when we're on here, when I'm on here every Monday. Okay. And I, so let me introduce myself if this is your first time, right? So my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group, where we help change agents to design, build, and fund their social ventures, maximize their revenue while impacting their community. So we're all about service to the community. And today we're going to be talking again about the three E's of social entrepreneurship. So I'll just tell you what the three E's are, and then we're going to go through each and every one of them. And hopefully this will only take 10 minutes. So this is going to be quick. So we're talking about explore, exploration, um, um, experimentation, and execution. So what do these three E's mean to you as a social entrepreneur or a social enterprise? Well, exploration. This is a stage, of course, you know, when you are doing basically trying to figure out what it is that you want to do or how you want to do it, right? So this is the exploration stage. This is where you're going to figure out who in your community is doing what, how they're doing it, what they're not doing that the community still needs and where you fit into the grand scheme of things. So it's a lot of, re like basically it's research, doing your competitive analysis, doing your market research to find out what percentage of the population needs, what you're thinking about, um, championing um what that population looks like you know demographic and psychographic information again is there anyone any agency or nonprofit in your community that are already um working on this particular cause or working to solve this particular problem again how they're doing that you know who they're affiliated with already and talking to people and figuring out where you and your idea for solving this problem fits into the grand scheme of things. You need to know where you fit in. Remember, we're not about coming into a situation and duplicating it. We want to fill a gap. We want to do something new and innovative. That's the whole purpose of being a social enterprise is to come in with innovative ideas to problems that already exist. Come in with innovative ideas to, pro to problems that other people are already trying to solve. So it's about thinking outside the box. So this is the exploration stage. The experimental stage, which is the second one, when you're experimenting, it's just like in science class, you're going to try a few things to figure out which one works. So if you've listened to any of my past videos, which you should, right? Um, if you've listened to any of my past videos, you always hear me talk about beta testing, right? Making sure that you know what is working. And one of the ways that you get to the experimental stage is in the exploration stage where you went out and you did your surveys and you asked questions. You spoke to the people who you're trying to serve and you got what I like to call boots on the ground information from these people. What exactly is the problem? Not what you think is the problem, not what society says is the problem, not what just what the statistics or the research has said is the problem. Speak to the people themselves to find out what they think their problems are, how they think these problems started, and what they need in order to solve these problems. Based on that information, based on that data, you're going to take that data and you're going to come up with a few um, ideas of how to solve the problem, how to deliver products and services to this audience in order to solve their problem. And this is how you're going to experiment. So you're going to have beta test one, beta test two, beta test three, and you're going to see which one or which combinations of the ideas, products or services and how they're delivered, right? And received by this audience how those things are going to develop into helping you to come up with a solid solution 
to the problem. So this is the experimental stage. So in the exploration stage, you're collecting data. You're always collecting data anyway, right? But in the exploration stage, you're collecting some data so that you can get to the experimental stage. And the experimental stage is where you're going to, again, you're going to implement some of the things that you have, the thoughts, ideas, and information that you have collected on how to solve that problem to see which works best, how it is received, and uh, most of all, what the outcomes are of these experiments so you can go back and tweak it and make it even better <clears throat> and then the third one is the execution and this is when you have already explored you have already experimented you've come up with a solid solution or what you think at that point in time is a solid solution to solving that problem you took all the data that you have collected in the exploration and experimental stage, and you have determined that this works in combination with this to create this particular outcome. And when we put those things together, we got the best desired outcome. It may not be perfect, but it's the best desired outcome. And then you're going to execute it. So you're going to create an actual program service um, out of program service or product. So the three P's, program service or product, that's what we talk about in social enterprise, right? The three P's, program services or products. And I probably do a video on that. I should do a video on program service and products so people can understand what they mean. But anyways, so you're going to take your program, your service or your product, and you're going to put it into full effect. You're going to launch and you're going to acquire clients um, for clients and customers that are going to utilize this product program or service in the way you feel it is going to give the best desired outcome. And of course, you're going to continue to evaluate and collect data because your demographic, we're people, we change all the time. Your demographic may change ever so slightly or their need may change ever so slightly. So if your program is really good or your service or your product is really good and it is creating desired effect and you are getting the outcomes that you need, then that outcome becomes a trickle down effect into the rest of the community. Because if I change, then my household is going to change and the people around me are going to change if I um, if I had that leadership quality. So then when people in the community start changing, even though this change may be slight, it may not be a huge change, but it may be a slight change, then you're going to have to go back through this whole three, um, 3E process again to tweak your program. The exploration, okay, so we did this program, product or service, it gave us a desired outcome. We're seeing the changes that we need to see, in the, some of the changes we need to see in the program, in the community, but we've just identified that, oh, they have another problem, right? Or there's a problem that's closely related to it. So we're going to have to go back and explore. Maybe we need to bring in some com other community partners. We're going to have to experiment on how those partnerships are going to work and in what combination who's going to provide products and services to that population, how they work in conjunction with each other. Do they even work in conjunction with each other? Maybe we need to bring in another partner until you get back to the ex execution stage. So you're always kind of tweaking your programs, products, and services, unless you're probably just giving bottles of water. But then that and all could change, right? Because if you're just giving out bottles of water, then you may want to get to a, a place where you're teaching people how to purify their own water. So I can't even say that because the programs and services and the products can change over time because your job is not to make people dependent on you, but to make them independent um, entities so that they can go out and they can help you to create change, to create impact in your community. So again, three, C, three E's of social entrepreneurship, exploration, experimentation, and execution. Um, remember to like, to share, to comment, to subscribe, turn on your notification bells. We love hearing from you. And make sure to go check out my website at tvacon.com and see what products and services that we offer that can help you to take your social enterprise to the next level. All right, everybody, until next time. Bye-bye. Oh, remember that there's someone in your community who needs the products and services that you um that you have and it's up to you to make sure that you 
get it right. Bye-bye.